context on these developments. This mega road show that you're looking at right now, right after that, the Prime Minister is going to be inaugurating the Mumbai Trans Harbour Link. It's also called Atal Setu. It's the country's longest sea bridge and that is going to be taking place later in the day today. Now, it's a 21.8 kilometer long sea bridge. You can see the, the, the promotional video of it, about it on the right side of your screens right now. And it will be connecting the south to Navi Mumbai between the Sevdi and other areas. It is expected to cater around 70,000 vehicles on a daily basis. Now, the bridge officially is going to be called the Atal Bihari Vajpai uh, Sevdi Navasheva Atal Setu. And it's been built at a cost of 21,200 crores. The bridge will provide faster connectivity on one side to Mumbai International Airport, on the other to Navi Mumbai and the international airport that is located there. It's also going to be reducing the travel time from Mumbai to Pune, Goa and South India. That is the hope for it. From Mumbai to Chirle in 22 minutes at a toll of 250 rupees. Yes, this is the biggest speciality of this bridge, the Atal Setu. The distance between Mumbai and Navi Mumbai, which generally takes an hour and 45 minutes for people to cover, will now be covered in just 22 minutes. And that is the biggest USP. Saving of time, saving of petrol, saving of fuel. Most importantly, these are the two places which have two important ports. The Mumbai port will be connected to Jawaharlal Nehru port and that is the major traffic that is being expected. The trucks which will ferry goods from one port to another are expected to use this. Now one of the concerns was the noise that the vehicles will generate when they will move on Atal Setu and in order to cut down on this noise, these transparent noise barriers have been set up across the Atal Setu. Now what is their speciality? While you can see that they are transparent, you can see through them, you can see the glorious sunset that's happening right behind me. But what's also important is that they are so strong that the noise gets cut and in fact instead of spreading it moves up thereby generating a very strong sound barrier across the Atal Setu. This is a massive achievement for the MMRDA. How do you look at it? Well, I see this as a huge thing for us and for the state and I think uh, even at the national level uh, this is India's longest sea bridge it is one of the longest in Asia. It is amongst the longest in the world. It has been built by technologies which were hitherto unknown. And you know, uh, 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 it is a game changer in more ways than one. So, sir, if you could talk to us about the specialities of this 22 kilometer long ocean bridge, as we already know that this is the biggest, the longest in India, what are the other qualities that make this different from any other bridge that has been constructed here particularly because this also crosses several key installations which are important defense wise well firstly it connects old dream of every mumbaiker the island city is there and the hinterland is there and these two are to be connected that's a very old dream of people who live in mumbai so this dream is now uh, you know it is being uh, fructified by the means of this bridge, that is one. If you see from the engineering angle or the technical angle, then it is an amazing bridge. See, 16 and a half kilometers of the bridge is bang on the sea. Remaining is an elevated road. Okay, we're heading into a short break. On the other side, we will be joined once again by our colleagues. We'll bring you a lot more context on this story and what commuters have had to say so far. It's time for a short break.